Hippus, ancient Greek, Hippus singular Hippius, Hippius is a Greek term for cavalry. In ancient Athenian society, after the political reforms of Solon, the Hippias was the second highest of the four social classes. It was composed of men who had at least 300 metemnoi or their equivalent as yearly income. According to the Timocratic constitution the average citizen had a yearly income of less than 200 metemnoi. This gave the men who made 300 metemnoi the ability to purchase and maintain a war horse during their service to the state. Its counterparts were the Roman equestrians and medieval knights. <laughs> Early formations In Sparta, the Hippias was the royal guard of honor. It consisted of 300 Spartan youths under the age of 30. These soldiers were initially mounted, but later they would serve as heavily armed foot soldiers. The Athenian cavalry was formed after the Greco-Persian War in the 5th century BC. It originally consisted of 300 men and then increased to 1,200 men following Athens' Golden Age. This included 200 mounted bowmen and 1,000 Athenian citizens. The Hippias continued drilling in times of peace. They also took part in processions at public festivals. They were commanded by two hipparchi, who superintended the levy. Subordinated to each hipparch were five phylarchi, who each commanded a phyla. Both sets of officers were drawn from the two highest classes. It was the duty of the bull council to see that the cavalry was in good condition and to examine new members with respect to their equipment and eligibility. The number of horsemen dispatched was determined by the decree of the popular assembly. Every horseman received equipment money on joining and a subsidy for keeping a groom and two horses. This grew to be an annual grant from the state, amounting to 40 talents, but regular pay was only given in the field. Topic: <laughs> Sparta's cavalry. In 424 BC, a regular body of horses was formed, remedying long-standing neglect when compared with the infantry. The rich had only to provide horses, equipment, and armor. In time of war, those deemed unfit for service as hoplites were drafted to the cavalry and dispatched without any preliminary drill. In later times, every hoplite mora seems to have been allotted 60 cavalry. By enlisting mercenaries and introducing allies into their forces, the Spartans eventually obtained better cavalry. Topic: <laughs> Citizen cavalry. The utility of the Greek citizen cavalry was low on account of their heavy armor, their metal helmet, and their coat of mail, their metal fringed kilts, their cuisses reaching to the knee and their leather leggings. They did not take shields into battle. As offensive weapons, they had a straight two-edged sword and a spear, used either as a lance or thrown as a javelin. Horseshoes and stirrups were unknown to the Greeks. The closest approximation to a saddle was either a saddle cloth or a piece of felt that was firmly fastened under the horse's belly. The Thessalians were considered the best riders. Trained in horsemanship as well as infantry warfare, the sacred band of Thebes may have accompanied the great Theban cavalry commander Pelopidas to Pelopidas's fatal confrontation with Alexander of Pharae in 364. Pelopidas taught Philip II of Macedon many cavalry skills. Cavalry first became important in the Macedonian army under Philip II of Macedon and his son Alexander the Great. Although in earlier times the number of horsemen in the Greek forces was low, in Alexander's later army they formed nearly a sixth. The Macedonian cavalry was divided into heavy and light, both consisting of squadrons of an average strength of 200 men. Of the heavy cavalry, the choicest troops were Macedonians and Thessalians, armed in the Greek fashion, who were as formidable in onslaught as in single combat. In order and discipline, they far surpassed the dense squadrons of Asiatic cavalry, and even in attacking enemy infantry, they generally had a decisive effect, especially in the Battle of Gagamela. The light cavalry, which was formed under the name of Prodromoi skirmishers, consisted of Macedonian sarisophoroi, so called from the sarissa, a lance from 14 to 16 feet meters long polybius, 18, 12, and of Thracian horsemen. The heavy cavalry men each had a mounted servant and probably a led horse to transport baggage and forage. After Alexander, Tarantini equites, or light-armed spearmen, with two horses each, emerged 192 BC, Livy, 35 28, 29. <inaudible> <inaudible> Evolution 
Three main evolutionary stages transpired in ancient Greece, starting in the Mycenaean period approximately 1400 BC. The first stage consisted of turning a regular horse into a war horse and using it to pull a chariot, which was used to carry infantrymen to battle and to transport the injured. In the second stage the chariot was replaced as the fighting platform by the horse itself. Mounted soldiers were used to screen the army, harass the enemy and pursue fleeing enemies. In the third stage, in the 4th century, the cavalry charge emerged. See also Corpus Vassorum Antiquorum The Knights The Sacred Band of Stepsons, fictional ancient cavalry Pentacosiomedimni, the class above, who had at least 500 metemnoi of wet or dry goods or their equivalent as yearly income Zugiti, the class below, who were possessors of a yoke of oxen, with at least 150 metemnoi or their equivalent as yearly income Thetes, the lowest class, who were workers for wages, or had less than 150 metemnoi or their equivalent as yearly income Solon, the reformer who established the Hippus Topic. References Topic. External links Perseus Project – Xenophons on the Cavalry Commander